how do you advocate for yourself in your pet business? That's something that we talked about this week on the podcast. Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Colin. And we are the hosts of Pet Sitter Confessional. So episode 273 with Abigail from Pack Pals, New York. She really talked about how to advocate for yourself and stand up for yourself in your business. Yeah, why it is so important. And it looks different for everybody. I think that's what's really important for us to note is that the way someone else stands up for their business and the other way someone else advocates for their business isn't how we have to do that. And I think we have to take a step back and ask, what is that? What does it mean to advocate for a business? It means to stand up for, to speak up for, because here's the thing, nobody else will. Nobody else will come to your defense, will speak out and talk about your business the way you will and the way you can. And we can't rely on other people. Reviews are wonderful. Uh, referrals are wonderful. But when it comes fo- to saying what your business stands for and being proactive in what you communicate, that's all, something only you can do. And, and you don't have to be somebody who's overly aggressive or who is outwardly um, domineering about these things. If, you, if you're not like that, that's fine. You can still advocate and stand up for your business in the way that you do that, in the way you would speak, approach those topics, you'd have those conversations with people. That, that's all up to you. Well, and that goes into what she was saying also about having tough conversations mm. and <laughs> knowing that the way everybody does it is different, but maybe you should approach it as having a dialogue versus just a one sentence thing saying, hey, here's some bad news, kind of massaging it a little bit. And because this is a relationship business, we are very passionate about pets, but also we are coming into people's homes. We are taking care of their things, their most precious pets. And so it is very important that we nurture that relationship with them. Yeah, it's about putting your personality into that and really having that conversation, taking that time to have that conversation because it is a relationship. This is a relationship-based business. Now, it's important to note, it's still a business at the end of the day, so we still need to have these tough conversations. We still need to set these boundaries, but the way we approach that can be unique and can be high touch and can have our personality into it. And she said something, uh, Abigail said something where she said, you know, I'll let people know, hey, this is a tough conversation for me to have, and I don't really like talking about this, but I have to. I have to do that because this is my business. And when we think about it in that context of, I run a business, I have to do certain things. Because I run a business, and that runs into exactly what she was talking about in a conversation we've had about having a legitimate business Mm -hmm. and viewing ourselves as legitimate. So what does that mean? It means that you take yourself seriously. It means that you are going to set boundaries. Just because we are a personal business doesn't mean we don't set those boundaries. Doesn't mean we don't have those policies and procedures in place. Yeah. I mean, as an example for us, we are part of the country club pool here. And so last summer we would go and (laughs) we would see the bankers and the lawyers and the big CEOs of the really big businesses. The important people, right? Right, They run run real businesses. (laughs) Right. The important people here in town. And so we would go there and think, oh, we're just pet sitters. But no, that's not true. We are the CEO of our own successful pet businesses. Yeah. And it's crazy to think that we were still feeling like that 10 years into this. We're running this business now full time that pays for our mortgage. It pays for our kids to go to school. It pays for insurance. And yet we looked at these people around us and thought, oh, they're, they're better than we are. That's they're, not true. It's not true. It's really not. And it's a mindset thing. It's something that we have to tackle. I don't want to tap my jaws. It's up here. It's the mindset. It's not a jaw thing. It's a head thing. We've got to work through that. And that starts with setting those boundaries, having policies and procedures, and then sticking to them. And that's really the tough part yeah. <laughs> because we are a relationship business. We want to have repeat clients. We want clients to keep referring our name out there to other people. And so it, it is, it can be tough to say, oh, well, because you didn't let me know by the time I needed to know there will be a cancellation fee or whatever it is, but really sticking to the policies that you have set out. Because if you don't if you don't adhere to them, what's the point of even having them in the first place? Exactly. And when we break those, when we move past those, we stop viewing ourselves as legitimate. We allow other people to take over our business and run it instead of us 
doing that. I mean, if you look at every other business, they stick to things because it's important for them. It protects them. It protects their finances. It protects their time. It protects their well-being as an individual. And when e we even other service industries, yeah. like when I go in for a massage, they say you, we have a cancellation policy. If you don't, if you're you know 10 minutes late, we're going to cancel your reservation. <laughs> and if you don't, if you don't confirm within 24 hours, we're going to cancel you. So it, it's even other service industries too. I, it's it seems like the pet industry industry is really one of the only ones where we really wear a heart on our sleeve and kind of let our clients run our businesses sometimes. Yeah, so all of this is tied together from how we run and manage our businesses and how we view ourselves as legitimate to how we stand up and advocate for ourselves because we're never going to do that part if we don't think we're legitimate. If we don't think at the end of the day, this is really important, if we don't think we're worth it. I'm never going to maintain my policies. I'm never going to stand up and speak out in defense and hold up my business if I don't think it's worth it, if I don't think I'm real, if I don't think that it's a real business and it's important enough and it's all tied together. So we are here to tell you, you are worth it. Yes. You are a legitimate business and we see you and think that you are doing an awesome job. Yeah, and if you need help and how to stand up for your business and what that looks like, or maybe you've experienced something that you'd love to share, we'd love to hear about it. Drop a comment below or send us an email, feedback at petsitterconfessional.com or wherever you are on social media. We'd love to hear your stories and how you've dealt with this particular issue. So we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.